about a month ago, I uh, was frustrated by this. Our nursing staff, half of them was laid off. They cut back our hours in the emergency department because of our low census. My name is Dr. David Lang. I'm a board certified family medicine and sports medicine physician, but I've been working in emergency medicine for the last 10 years in the small town of Osceola, Wisconsin. And this is my second opinion. And I um, wrote a post on Facebook that kind of got a lot of play. It got shared over 30,000 times. Because I'm just really frustrated with the um, basically decimation of our healthcare system uh, because of this uh, shutdown. Um, there were days in emergency department, we'd see three, four people a day. And normally we'd see 15, 20 sometimes, and it just basically shut off. And people would come in with chest pain that they'd had for three days and didn't bother to come in. And I would say, well, why didn't you come in? And I'd give two answers. One was, well, I know you guys were really busy, but we didn't want to bother you. Or I was afraid I was going to get COVID because what they see is video from whatever hospital is overwhelmed because that's more dramatic. And they assume that bodies are being stacked up like cordwood every place. In the reality, in the county where I live, we've had two, three, maybe four cases of COVID. Nobody's terribly sick. I've sent more people to mental health um, hospitals in the last two months than I've probably done in the last five years. My other concern is once this is all over and things get back to normal, and hopefully that's soon, I'm afraid we're going to be seeing so many people with medical problems that are out of control because their diabetes hasn't been managed, their heart failure hasn't been managed, their hypertension hasn't managed, been managed. And then on top of that, we're laying off our nursing staff, our support staff, our some of the doctors are even getting furloughed in some of the uh, primary care clinics. Uh, it's just frankly a disaster. And that's one of the reasons that I felt the need to put these posts on Facebook. And I just put another one on yesterday that's been shared quite a bit. People are banging together and hopefully if enough of us make, um, make some noise, things will get done.